brings to that process. Um, I alluded before, as I watch the legislative process from the inside, uh, certainly flexibility is important. But uh, as I watch some of the amendments that can come across, some of them good ideas, some of them ideas that we're just trying to get our arms around, um, it, it, it is a, a, a process where a lot of different things can happen. But uh, thankfully, there are a lot of people that look at things through the process. And um, I've, I've learned not to get as excited about each thing that comes up because there will be a number of things where it can be changed, made better, eliminated, or enhanced as the process goes forward. Um, but it, it has been a, a great learning experience and a, a great honor to get to represent uh, those of you in Topeka. I want to thank AT&T and the Chamber for sponsoring uh, today's forum and thank you for taking time out of your Saturday mornings. I, I appreciate the, uh, the discussion that we have here. It's very educational to also hear the Senate side. I appreciate uh, Senator Brungart doing that. Uh, I guess the basic uh, message I want to bring back, it's, it's very difficult to um, get legislation to pass. Uh, there are a lot more ways to uh, have bills die, uh, either in not bringing it up in the committee for a hearing or bringing it to the floor and having it referred to a, a conference committee. So to actually pass legislation is extremely difficult. However, there are some bright spots. Um, we must pass a budget that balances. Uh, th that's a good thing. We're looking at having a, maybe in the first time in a few years, having an excess uh, budget, we're legislated to have a 7.5% ending balance positive, and uh, that might be getting a little closer as we go through the conference committee on that. So the budget is the next uh, big issue coming up, and we'll probably spend most of this next week discussing that. And then thrown into that mix, of course, will be the uh, conference committee reports coming back to uh, either concur, which means we're going to uh, take the combined bill and pass it and have the governor sign it, or to non-concur and uh, send it back to the committee, and they may or may not have a hearing and bring it back for us to vote on. So there's a lot coming up in uh, uh, a short 40-hour week, which could stretch into many more hours than that. So we're, we're looking forward to uh, do the people's business, and we'll do the best job we can with the information that we have. Uh, thanks to the Chamber and thanks to AT&T. Have a good crowd again uh, today. Uh, Representative Arbke mentioned that it's difficult to pass legislation, and I think if we get a show of hands here and ask, is that a good thing? I think everyone here would raise their hand and say, yes, that is a good thing. Um, we have a, uh, two chambers in the, uh, in the legislature. The House sends uh, bills over to the Senate. Senate has a, a chance to, uh, the Senate, is because they get four-year terms, is a little more deliberative body. They get an opportunity to look at things, <coughs> weigh them. Uh, the House uh, has another opportunity to send, to combine them in Senate bills. Anyway, legislation is not easy to pass, and I think that's a good thing for every citizen in the state of Kansas. It needs to be thoroughly vetted and talked about, and debated, amended, uh, and then finally signed by the governor. So it takes 63, 21, and 1 to, to make legislation happen, and, that, and that's, a, that's a good thing. We've had some good things happen, um, some good legislation that is moving forward. We talked about CAPERS to a great extent, and thank you for the questions uh, on that. We've done some economic development things. Uh, we talked about rural opportunity zones, the ROSES. Uh, we passed some expensing uh, leg legislation, <coughs> passed some workers' comp legislation that's, that's moving forward and should be finalized. Workers' comp has been a mess for the last 10 years, and the two opposing sides, business and labor, haven't been able to get together, and they finally got together and talked about it uh, over a table and, and over many long hours and finally got things uh, worked out. They presented a bill that's balanced and fair to both parties. I've been playing defense a lot uh, this year. <coughs> if you recall, last year we passed a uh, sales tax increase of 1%. Many people ran on a repeal of that sales tax. <coughs> we had a vote on the repeal in the House, and the repeal was rejected. I can't recall the vote. I think it was 69 to 51, somewhere somewhere in that. Uh, <coughs> but it, that uh, a lot of people that voted against it last year that returned to the legislature voted for it this year. So it, that's an affirmation to me that, that's, that the sales tax was a good public policy. We also um, uh, just recently had some conversation about a repeal of the smoking ban, the statewide smoking ban. Last year we passed a statewide smoking ban. A lot of people ran uh, against those that voted for the statewide smoking ban. Anyway, we had conversation, uh, we, we had um, 
thorough afternoon debate about repealing the, uh, the statewide smoking ban. The good news is that we pulled the, we pulled the casino exemption um, from the smoking ban out of the bill and didn't repeal the smoking ban, which again to me affirms that that was considered by at least the, the people that are in our current legislature as good public policy. Uh, so the session is uh, closing down. We have another, like Tom said, we have another week left and then uh, we'll adjourn for a, a month, listen to, to what the, uh, the citizens of the state of Kansas have to say about what's uh, uh, cooking and then we'll meet for what's called a wrap-up session or a veto session, but when all, when actually in all actuality it's when all the uh, legislation uh, uh, will finally come to a head and, and we'll pass the budget and, and any other finalized other things. So. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for your input. It's valuable uh, to me. I, I can't, it's, 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 incre it's in incredibly valuable to hear what you have to say. Thank you. Thanks to all of you for your attendance this morning as well as to the sponsors and to Mr. Davidson for his uh, contribution. Um, <coughs> it's, it is the, the uh, time of year when, when a lot happens and it's confusing. Um, uh, there's a famous quote, I think it's Churchill's, I have to paraphrase that to every complex problem there are answers that are simple, easy, and wrong. Um, <laughs> and we kind of face that sometimes with legislation, um, thoroughly vetting it and having a difficulty making it through the process is part of that. Uh, things that do achieve uh, getting signed by the governor I think have had some history then of examination and that's a good thing. Uh, it's that time of year where, where we've gone through committees to floor and pass things, and maybe that was in February or January, and I mean, you've almost forgotten about it. And now they come back <coughs> in a committee report with six bills in it, and a couple of them were more recent, and then some of the older ones got changed by the other chamber, and the result, you haven't seen the compromise result, and, and you're scratching your head because you've got to cast a vote on this body. And it's got six bills in it, and you might like four of them a lot, and you might hate one a lot, and you don't get to choose. You don't get multiple choice, it's yes or no. And <clears throat> these are, are interesting times, because at best, you know exactly what you're voting on. At worst, you may not have a clue. But it's, it's, uh, it's a unique experience. The freshmen will no doubt enjoy it. I certainly did. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Uh, um, and the other fun thing about it for, for people that are relatively new is they're not involved in the conferences. They're not chairs or vice chairs or rankings. So they got a lot of downtime. I mean, they're kind of sitting around going, what is going on? And suddenly, wow, you got all this stuff in front of you. So it, it's, it, it's a little while, um, and it, it, the backdrop to all this, of course, is the budget. It's the 500 pound elephant in the room, and each side will thoroughly discuss and uh, decide <coughs> what's in their gonna be, what's going to be in their budget, and as I said, it's predictable those will be different, and um, the people involved in mediating those differences have not had good success thus far, and I'd go so far as to say there's probably a little bad blood. Um, because they've not had success on what should have been a simpler part of the equation. So um, God help us all in how the end game plays out. In the meantime, I think it is worth remembering there's a lot of stuff going on that we didn't talk about, individual bills and things that have passed and individual people may know about them, but um, this morning was a little more philosophical, general kind of discussion, and I think that's nice to have. Um, and we'll have to kind of catch up on the individual stuff as it plays out over the next month or six weeks. Um, and uh, again, thanks also, as I would say, from the input. Had a really nice discussion this week, for example, with Mr. Kennedy and um, Superintendent Winter talking about a reference um, Representative Arkey made about <coughs> school district size, what's the right size, how many should be combined, what are the physical limitations in Western Kansas of how far you can travel and still call it a day, what are the core subjects we should teach. Um, there's a lot of people who know a lot about these topics thinking about them and willing to help make those recommendations. And it's refreshing to get that kind of feedback from people with expertise. So we'll uh, stay tuned with the rest of you and see how all this comes out in the next month or two. But uh, uh, we do live in interesting times. Thanks again for coming out this morning. I'd like, like to thank our legislators for their service and also for their effort and patience as they work through very difficult issues. And uh, of course, their willingness to be here this morning to answer your questions. Uh, of course, I'd like to thank all of you for attending this morning.